No! Dude, relax. Don't blow a gasket. Jeez. Too late. Too late? You ready, Blue Gasket? I can help with that. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, it's time to work on the little guy today. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. Today, Minimax gasket replacement. How to do it? I'm going to show you just how simple it is. So a common problem on a lot of these Minimaxes is that people use them for a lot of hot cooking, burgers, steaks, Searing, I use mine for searing mostly. So if you open this up and check it out, I actually have no gasket on here whatsoever. I've been working with this for a long time with no gasket. It's worked pretty well, but it does lose seal. So what we're gonna do today is show you how to prepare this to apply this. It's really pretty simple, but it does take a couple steps. Let me show you how to do it. For starters, let's cover the basics. Make sure it's not hot, okay? Don't do this right after you're done cooking. No, you want it out. Let it rest overnight. Let it make sure it's out. First step, Take everything out of the insides. We're gonna take out the grate, our convector, pull out our kick-ash basket, okay? And fire ring and fire bowl. Even though we're just doing the gasket, I wanna talk about something else here. So you can see my band here actually sits a little bit higher than the lip of the actual egg itself. So we're gonna do some adjusting. Before we get started, let's talk about all the different tools that we will need to do this job, okay? It's real simple. It's just a couple easy, really, items that you have in your garage already. One, for the Minimax, you'll need a half-inch wrench. You need some, some form of utility knife. A little bit of rough sandpaper. I have some 100 grit here. And a little bit of acetone. That's all you're going to need to change this gasket. Real simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust this band. It's real simple, okay? Then turn it here. And this is a one half inch wrench. Just loosen up this nut on the back. See this bolt? This bolt is bent. It's supposed to be bent, okay? Do not worry about that. But we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up. So you see how it's raised here. All I'm gonna do is now that it's loosened up, I'm just gonna push this down a little bit. Maybe. There we go. A little bit of pressure, okay? And get it nice and even with the lip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the back up a little bit. Okay, push the front down, and that should be good. We're just gonna tighten it up right in that position. Make sure you have equal space all the way around. It's just a sliver of green that we can see there. Now we got it all the way around, so I'm just gonna go ahead and retighten this nut now. There we go. Beautiful closure, that's what we're looking for. So, no more lip here. It's down below the rim, which is where we want it to be all the way around. That's perfect. Now for our next step, there's a couple different ways to do it, but I wanna explain something to you why we're doing it the way we're doing it. To put the gasket on, if you have the dome on in the back here, it's really tight and it's gonna be very difficult to work with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take the dome off of here. Believe me, I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really simple. It's a couple of just nuts to take off. It's no problem. We're gonna start with these two right on the front because these are clips that hold the dome on. Pretty makes sense, right? So let's take those off. You're going to need a different wrench. This is a 7 16 wrench for this, and that fits on these two nuts perfectly. Next, we're gonna go to this one here. We're gonna loosen this up. The top is for the top band. There we go. I loosened up pretty simply, okay? Now we should have plenty of space there. So if my calculations work correctly, uh, there it is, the dome is off. I told you that was simple, didn't I? Now, what we're gonna do to work on it is genius. Somebody showed this to me, okay? First off, set this someplace safe. So I'm gonna set it down here, all right? And we're gonna take a towel and lay it right inside of here like this, okay? And we simply take our dome and lay it upside down right in there so we can work on it easily. Now, if this still had a gasket on, we would be taking the old gasket off, but it's, it's not here, so we're just gonna take off all this old gasket material. So just take our utility knife and just scrape this stuff off. Okay, as you can tell, mine has been burned pretty good, so this stuff comes off pretty easily. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our 100 grit sandpaper. You can use rougher if you want to. You, you wanna use a rough grit for this, okay? And just give it, just hit it a little bit. Okay, make sure it's nice and smooth. We have all the old stuff off of there. You don't want any of the old gasket material on there. You want it all off. And now the last step of this process is take a little bit of acetone, go inside, get your wife or husband's really good kitchen towels. No, don't do that. All right, a little bit of acetone and just wipe it down. Make sure there's no more adhesive on there. It's gonna take all the dust off. Just a light rubbing. You don't have to really go crazy here. 
All right, acetone will not hurt your egg, I promise you, okay? Big Green Egg themselves will tell you to do this when you change your gasket. Okay, and once you have it all wiped down and all cleaned off like this, I'm gonna take it off of here, set it aside, we're gonna let this dry for about a half an hour while we do the bottom. And now, what we did to the top, we're gonna do to the bottom, okay? So same thing. Again, there's no gasket here. Now, if, the, if there was still some old gasket here and it was really stuck on, you could use some acetone or something like that and, and put it on there, it'll actually loosen it up. But we don't need that right now. We're gonna go ahead and get the scraping on the bottom side of this Minimax A. Now we take our sandpaper, just give it a little run around here, make sure. What you don't wanna do, you don't wanna sand too much and start scraping off the ceramics. No, 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 we just want the old gasket off, that's all. And once we've sandpapered, back to our acetone. Now, because I've had my gasket gone on this for so long, there are areas that are actually just a little bit burned, okay? So just because they're dark doesn't mean anything. If you feel it, it's the same exact texture all the way around, okay? It's flat and it's not gonna be a problem in the future because it's just burn mark, it's just dark. It's not more gasket material. And now we're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes and we'll start installing our gasket. All right, now a couple of things. We're gonna go ahead and start putting our gasket on. We're gonna do the top first. We're gonna do it in the same order that we did it before. Also, sorry if the audio gets a little messed up. We're in South Florida and it just started pouring down rain. So one thing about South Florida, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes and it'll be different. So let me grab the dome, stick it back in here, and let's get started. I've got my gasket material here, okay? This is available on our website. You can order it down below. Um, but this is the way I laid it in here. The back is over here. So I'm gonna start in the very back. And this is really simple, all right? We're just gonna peel it. All right, and start it on the back, lay it down, okay? And just kind of run it, over, run it around and twirl it, curve it as you go. It's gonna overlap a little bit, that's quite all right. So you just keep going all the way around, okay? And it's okay if it overhangs on the front or the back a little bit, it's, that's natural, okay? It's a little bit wider than the actual egg itself. And when you get to the end here, you're gonna overlap it just like that, okay? And you take your utility knife and cut it on an angle. Don't cut it straight across, cut it on an angle, just like this. Okay? Take up like that. And what you're gonna do is kind of push them together here. Okay? Okay, you take that out kind of push them together like that and you've got a beautiful seal now you got to make it look pretty of course so just give it a little trim if you need to voila okay and that's a good seal right there that's what you're looking for and let's get ready for the bottom okay you can know you can always go around this and just push it down make sure that it's adhered all the way around so that's all you, you know you just want to make sure it's it's stuck that's all looks good right now, what we did to the top, we're gonna do to the bottom. So the same thing, we're gonna start on the very back in the middle here, and just lay down our adhesive, okay, like that, and work our way around, same thing. Okay, now again, the same thing on the back here. We're gonna go meet up with the other side and go right over it, okay? Just like that. Now, once it's over it, you find where it was cut before, this is actually the better way to do it, okay? Find where it was cut before, then cut right along that same line. You can even go a touch longer if you wanted to, okay? There we have it, okay? Push it down, push it down, push them into each other, just like that. And we have got ourselves a new gasket. So just keep pushing it together like this. It'll, it'll adhere really well, and it's gonna be just fine, okay? Look at that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for my next trick, I will lay the dome back in here. Now, before you tighten it, you want to make sure that your dome thermometer is right in line with the bottom here. Okay, so you're going to swivel it just a little bit, just like that. And there's actually a little spot. There you go. Check it all around. Make sure we're good. Lines up perfectly. Next step is to retighten our band assembly. So, I'm turning here to this big nut here. Make sure it's pushed down all the way and simply start tightening your nuts. And, okay, that's cranked down pretty good. That thing is bent. That thing is really solid now, so we're good to go. It's really tight. You're all set. 
And now last but not least, we need to get the handle on the situation. <laughs> place our handle with our tabs. These are safety tabs. They hold this thing right in place beautifully. Okay. Put our nuts back on and then use our 7 16 wrench to tighten them down. So it comes with enough extra material here that you could go around the chimney again. This one's still good on here, so I'm just gonna leave it. There's one way to test if you did this correctly. Take a piece of paper, stick it in between the dome and the base, close it, okay? There should be some tension. You should not be able to pull it out real simple. You do this all around. You could do it with a dollar bill, okay? But you can see there's tension there. It's actually sealing. Ah, uh, how bizarre, okay? Same thing, all sides, it seals up perfectly. We did an exact perfect gasket change here. You can see how simple it was. I don't think it took us a half an hour to do the whole thing. So it's really simple. If you're not sure if you can do it, trust me, try it out, you can. We sell the gasket material, there's a link below down in the description. Whatever size egg that you have, you can buy it from us, it's right down there below. Great adhesive, it's gonna last you a while. And hey, listen, it's simple, it's easy to do. Don't live without a gasket, folks, you can get this done. So. That's my, bin, that's my Mini Max Big Green Egg gasket change. I hope that you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's really simple. You can do it, I promise you. And that if you can't, you can, okay? Just know that you can. But in the meantime, remember one thing. Get out and grill. And I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.